These electric devices use power even when turned off. That's why your electricity bills keep rising. Some devices, as long as they're plugged in, consume electricity. Check if you have these in your home. Many people think it's harmless, but the truth is, plenty of appliances use energy even when they're off. Take a dishwasher, for example. Look, it's always lit up. Ovens display the time continuously, consuming energy. While these may only cost a few dollars over a few months, over the course of a year, it can add up to tens of dollars. Printers, too, consume electricity in standby mode, even when not in use. And don't forget charging cables left plugged in. They draw power even if nothing is charging. Avoid using extension cords without an on-off switch, as devices plugged into them constantly draw power. The same goes for induction stoves. Even in standby mode, the red light indicating it's locked but ready to use consumes electricity. Not all devices can be unplugged when not in use, but the best solution is to connect appliances to a power strip with a switch. Turning off the strip ensures no energy is being drawn, saving you money in the long run. Take a banknote and perform this test. Thanks to it, you will save a fortune on bills. The refrigerator doors are used every day. The condition of the seals affects their lifespan. If the refrigerator is noisy or frost appears inside, it may be a sign that it's time for the banknote test. Over time, rubber seals become stiffer and may not adhere properly to the refrigerator wall. This allows warm air to constantly flow into the interior and the refrigerator works non-stop to cool the continuously entering air. To check, just perform a simple trick. Take a banknote and insert it between the refrigerator wall and the door. Then, close the refrigerator. Now try to take it out. If you can remove it without any resistance, the seal is not adhering properly. This method allows you to check the entire seal. If the rubber strip of the seal is tight, the banknote will offer resistance. There is another way to save the seal and make it adhere better to the refrigerator. If the seal has no visible defects or damage, try this trick. Use cosmetic Vaseline. Apply Vaseline to the clean and dry seal. This popular cosmetic will restore the flexibility of the seal and it will adhere properly to the refrigerator. Spread the Vaseline evenly and precisely along the entire length of the rubber. You will definitely feel the difference the next time you try to open the refrigerator. Are your electricity bills high? Let us know in the comments what you do to reduce them. A former employee has revealed the dark secrets of an electronics store. If a product code ends with the number six, don't buy it. We'll show you a few valuable tricks to avoid bad purchases. Have you ever noticed salespeople recommending completely different products when you're clearly interested in something else? Why does this happen? The earnings of these salespeople, or so-called customer advisors, are largely commission-based. And when commissions are involved, quantity often matters more than quality. They usually recommend what benefits them, not you. Here's a breakdown of some tricks used by salespeople in stores to help you avoid making poor decisions. Stores use something called a code system. This code indicates how much commission the salesperson will earn when you buy a particular product. The code can be found on every product's label, usually in the upper right corner. It consists of a string of numbers, but the last two are the most important. These numbers determine the commission multiplier for the salesperson. Products are rated on a scale from one to six, where one represents the lowest commission and six represents the highest. A product with the number six is often clearance stock, a display model, or even defective. In some stores, this information is also on the product's label, but in a different spot. The number is located inside a square. A filled square with the number one means the salesperson gets the highest commission. An empty square with the number one means a lower commission. Products marked with numbers two or three are often outdated or damaged, but yield the highest commissions for salespeople. Remember, don't blame the salespeople for this. They're not at fault. The real issue lies with the sales system used in these types of stores. Put them in the windows and you'll feel the difference. Your bills will decrease by almost half. This simple and affordable trick will seal your windows without needing a professional. Energy and heating costs are rising at an alarming rate, so it's important to minimize heat loss. 
It turns out that almost half of the heat that could stay in your home escapes through the windows. To keep the heat, all you need is this simple trick I'm about to show you. Everything you need can be found in your home, specifically in your kitchen. Just grab a dish sponge, which has far more uses than you might think. Start by cutting it into smaller pieces or cut the sponge into medium-sized strips so they can easily fit into the gaps of your windows. Place these strips between the seal and the window frame as it's often the faulty seals that cause leaks. You don't need to replace them, just use this trick. Attach the sponge with silver tape at the top and close the window. You'll see that the window seals better and your home will feel warmer. Put styrofoam in the freezer and enjoy lower electricity bills. Have you ever put styrofoam in the fridge? If not, you definitely should. Instead of throwing it away, put it in the freezer. You'll reduce your bills and save on expenses. Styrofoam doesn't absorb moisture and doesn't dissolve in water. It also doesn't conduct heat. It's lightweight and can be crushed and broken into smaller pieces. If you're focused on savings and every penny counts for you, styrofoam can help with that. Simply freeze it. To do this, fit the styrofoam into one of the freezer drawers. Divide it into smaller pieces. Arrange it in the drawer. Insert smaller pieces into the empty spaces. Put the drawer loaded with styrofoam into the freezer. If you have space in another drawer, do the same. Fill it with styrofoam and put it in the freezer. It turns out that this really works. Styrofoam reduces the empty space in the freezer. Every time you open the freezer door, warm air enters. When the freezer is full, less warm air enters. This means the fridge uses less electricity. The same goes for the cooling part of the fridge. If you have a large fridge and few items in it, you can line the empty shelves with styrofoam. By eliminating the empty space in the fridge and freezer, you'll save more energy. Is cold air coming through your windows? Switch to winter mode and your home will feel warmer while saving on bills. A hidden screw in the window frame allows you to change the setting from summer to winter mode. Not many people know that this should be done twice a year, once in summer and once in winter. Grab a pair of pliers or a special window key. The screw responsible for this change moves when you press the window handle. It controls how tightly the window sash presses against the frame. Upon closer inspection, you'll notice that one side of the screw is longer than the other, marked with a large dot. You can adjust it with pliers or a special key. The screws may vary in shape depending on the window manufacturer and are hidden not just on one side, but also on the top and bottom frames. How do you change your window from summer to winter mode? Grab the screw with pliers and turn the largest dot toward the window frame. This increases the seal's pressure, stopping airflow. Cold drafts will no longer sneak into your home through gaps. While it's a small detail, over the course of the heating season, you'll notice a big difference. Did you know windows have different modes? Have you already switched yours to winter mode? 